Hey guys, welcome back. So in one of the previous videos I was talking about how having your key and your secrets in uh, your config section is kind of not the best way of doing it and how like if you push it to GitHub, someone sees your GitHub, they can steal the credentials and everything. So today we're going to look at how you can do it with Azure Key Vault with very little code, very little anything. It's just very simple, so let's jump into it. So first we're gonna have to go to our Nougat package. And I already cheated a little bit and I installed them, but basically you're gonna need the Azure Key Vault and the App Authentication Library. So this one is a really cool library that it, it uses MSIs, which are managed service identities in the uh, Azure portal when, you're, when you deploy. Um, so let me just go back here. So like if you deploy an app service or any service, you can set up an MSI that is just an identity that they manage in the background. They keep the password for you. They do everything. And with one line of code, you can retrieve, like authenticate into either a database, into a key vault, into anything. So that does that, but then when you're developing, you want to be able to still test your code. So what they did is they use your actual uh, identity that you set up in. So if we go here to options, Azure Identity, they actually use my uh, my account that I have for Azure. So anything that I have access in Azure. So for example, this key vault that I created, I get my code gets access as if it was an MSI, no password needed, no nothing. So first we're gonna create a key vault. This is a service that uh, they offer that basically manages your keys, secrets, and certificates. Um, so th there we go. It eliminates the use of, of you having to have it on code or have it on deployment files and like it just removes a lot of the user error. Uh, some reports say that 99% of breaches include a password. So getting rid of passwords is a good thing. So in here I already created a test key vault just because it takes a while. Um, so I create a resource group. I like having in Azure my resource groups uh, per project or per region even uh, when you're doing a multi-region deployment. Uh, so in here I just created one. This, this is a key vault. I just created North Central pricing tier. So this is where I was talking about. Let's go to pricing tier. So you have the HSM backed or the premium. Uh, it's very cheap. I, this one I went with the standard. So yeah, let's, so in here you would just put your stuff, your key vault name, so test crypto, and three, I guess. And then you just review create, and you would actually create it. So in here I already created one. That it, This one shows who has, so in here, this would be who can manage the actual key vault. In this case, it's only me. Um, but if I had more people, I could make them an owner or contributor, which that only gives you access to the access policies. So then access policies, and here you say who can read the secrets, who can, and you can make it that like this person can only get the secrets, this person can only create secrets. So you, you can really divide the labor uh, so if an account is compromised, it's not like they get access to all your secrets or anything. So like you can really make it very granular. So in this one, I just gave access for everything. Uh, it's a default. I don't have any certificates, but I created a test secret and I don't have any keys. Uh, you can also use firewalls. So you can just make it that your own virtual network has access to it. Um, so you can really isolate your secrets as much as you need or want. Um, so once we create the test secret, we have to write the code for it. So as always, I like 
making it a service. Uh, we're going to call it XAV, so Azure Key Vault Service. And let's make it public. And this is a cool part of it. It's not that much code. So we need the key vault secret. So we pass it a secret name, which I'll talk in a second. We need to create an Azure service token provider. So that's the uh, app authentication that I was talking about. So this authenticates you, pretty cool. Well, it creates a provider and then here it authenticates you. Um, you got the key vault and then it's key vault get secret at async. This one I just wanted to make it a synchronous, so I just do dot result. And I return secret dot value. So we go back here and let's just do IPv service. Let's call it new service and then to get the secret I just have to do dot get key vault secret and then I here I have to pass a secret name so we have to find a way to tell key vault what to give us so we go back here and so I already created a test secret. Um, so here's a secret identifier. So as you see, yes, the key vault name uh, right here. And then it tells it it's a key vault. And it tells you it's a secret. And then it has a secret identifier. And you can have new versions, so if you change the password, you just have to change the secret and then change the link, and you're good. And here is the secret. So now let's just try it out. So I'm just going to put a breakpoint here. I should probably save it in a variable. Okay, so I guess we should close this. So in here we can see what it returns. Um, I already know that it's a value, but like let's run it. So we went to a key vault and got the secret. So it tells you like the ID, secret identifier, and so on. And then you want the value. So this is the secret that we save. So if we go here, this is our secret. So uh, then we return and we have our string secret. So that, that takes care of that. So then in the config, instead of having the actual key and the actual secret, so we would go to key vault. And we would create a new key. And here we would put the key value and create. And then we would go here, copy it. We can actually go to our settings. So in case you have different keys for production and for uh, testing in different key vaults, you just change the, the setting and it just works. Um, so sorry, it's not here. So we go here. We can just pass the config value for key. Get rid of 
this. So let's try it again. Let's get rid of this. Let's go back to the key vault. Getting the secret. We're back. And it gets a key. So that's it. You you would have to change both of them, move them to the key vault. And thanks for watching.